Now we're going to write expressions in exponential form. So we're going to take this problem and simplify it as much as we can. We have a cube of the square root of 5x. So the first thing we do is we take the 5x out of the square root and we're going to make one third the exponent. And when you do that, you've simplified it to its simplest form because it can't get any smaller than that. So one thing I like to remember is you basically take it on the outside and just put it on the other side. And then that's what you get, but because you did that, you're not gonna have the square root there anymore. Here's another problem where you have square root of nine a squared b to the fourth. So when you don't have a number there, that's like saying it's a two. So we're going to take the nine and we're gonna put one half next to it. And then we're gonna take a and we're gonna put the two next to that and then the b to the fourth and put the one half on the outside. So now you have nine to the one half, which I want you to look at it as just simplifying it to the number times itself that equals nine. So really, this is just going to be three. And then when you have a squared and you times that by one half, you're just gonna be left with a. And then b to the fourth times one half is just two. So we had nine a squared b to the fourth in a square root. We basically had no number here, but that's like a two. So we put the two on the outside and we always put that on the bottom of a fraction where one's on the top, which is what we did here. And then we also have a squared b to the fourth times one half. And then when you have nine to the exponent of one half, that's just like finding the number times itself that equals nine, which is a three. And then a squared times a half is just a, and then b to the fourth times half is just b squared. And then this is your final answer. So you always think like we have a number here and we're gonna take it out of the square root and we're gonna put it on the other side and we're gonna put it in a fraction. And we're gonna put one on top of that fraction. And then we're gonna multiply everything by that fraction and get it to its simplest form.